Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Align tools in Photoshop. So I'll just create a new document um, just to show you, doesn't matter what size. All right, let's create a new layer and let's use the Shape tool. So I've got the Ellipse tool selected at the moment. Now remember, if you right click, you can choose a different um, shapes. You can go rectangle, rounded rectangle, etc. So whenever you've got this little triangle here, if you right click, that'll bring out the second view menu in Photoshop. Alright, so just draw your shape or whatever you want to create. Remember to hold down shift if you want a perfect circle. So let's say that I wanted to put my circle in the center of my page. So at the moment, let's say it's over here and you want it to be in the center. So click on the marquee tool here, which is this square with a dash border. If you're not seeing that, if you right click, you may have one of these other ones selected. Make sure you've got the rectangular tool selected. Now off the edge of your template up here in this dark gray area, you want to left click and drag so that you've got this dashboard appearing on all sides of your page. So when you drag it down, make sure you extend it off the edge on the right side in the gray area, and then just let your mouse go and it will have this dashboard on all sides. So now if you click on the move tool, you can align it to the center of your page. That's this button here. If you want to align it to the middle of your page or your template, canvas, whatever you want to call it, you click this button here and that will move it right into the center of your template. Doesn't matter if it's a rectangle, a square, circle, um, it'll move it into the exact center. So that's how you do it with um, a shape. If you want to do it with text, it's the same deal. Just create a new layer, create your text. Um, just press Control D to get rid of those dash borders. Let's just type any old text and I'll just make it big enough to read. Cool, so now let's align that as well. So same deal, click on your marquee tool, left click and drag. So you've got this dash border appearing on all sides. Click on the move tool and then align it to the center and you can align it to the middle as well. So let's say that you wanted to do multiple align multiple things at once. So let's say that hello was over here and your circle was over here and you wanted both of them to be aligned to the center. You click on your circle layer or whatever shape you've got, object, clip art, etc. Press control on your keyboard and that way you can select multiple layers. So if you had a whole bunch of layers in your layers menu, if you click keep clicking control you'll be able to select them all and do it all at once because it's quite time consuming to individually select a layer, come over to the move tool, align it and do it for each one. It's just a complete waste of time. Just do it all at once. Um, you can do it really quickly when you've selected all of them. If you've got multiple um, layers and they're all like one above each other in the layers menu, if you hold down shift you can select multiple ones that way rather than individually clicking um, control on your keyboard. Okay, so when you've got both of your layers selected, which you'll know with this light blue or uh, dark blue dash to highlighted um, like shading on your layers, and then if you click this button here, it will then move all of those highlighted layers to the center of your template. One thing to note, if you do have multiple layers like this and you want to align it to the center, um, it will do it for you, but you'll just have to make sure that you've got your text layered above your circle layer so if you had it like this for example you won't see it you need to have your text above your shape so you want to like stack your layers so if you had a couple so if you had like one um ellipse or circle and then you had an inner one which was smaller you'll need to just reorder those layers to make sure that it's appearing in the order that you want to see it because if it's behind the circle that means you're not going to see it on your template so that's how you use the align tools in photoshop i'll include some links below to some more tutorials on basically beginner stuff on how to use photoshop if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Photoshop and planner related tutorials.